there, Cancerians. This is Astro Girl for the week March 31st through April 6th. And thanks so much for tuning in. This week, Venus, the goddess of love and beauty and pleasure, moves into Pisces, your fellow water sign, and your ninth house of long distance travel overseas, travel, higher education, and spirituality. If you're involved in a long distance relationship with someone overseas, it really is the time when push will come to shove and you'll have to make up your mind whether you want this to be ongoing or whether you feel it could be time for you to pull the plug and meet someone closer to home or the person you're seeing overseas decides that or it's a mutual thing. Or you may decide to just jump on a flight and go surprise him or her wherever he or she is. Now of course being making surprises like that, surprise entrances and arrivals, can be fraught with the knowledge that maybe he or she is not alone as much as you think they are. And you know, you hear the stories and you see it in the movies. So just be really, you know, careful about that. And I think by the end of April, you'll have a much better idea of where the relationship is headed. Also this week, there's a lot of activity in Aries, which of course is your 10th house of career and reputation. And it's the Sun and Uranus are stirring up quite the battle royale. Are you arguing with anyone you work with or are you butting heads or do you feel like people at work don't respect you, don't listen to you or just aren't great people for you to be around? It could be a time for some sort of discussion, a meeting, or you start polishing up your CV slash resume and thinking about what else you could be doing and where else you could be doing it. Thanks so much for tuning in, Cancerians. I look forward to speaking to you again next week.